Life sciences is everything that's related to live nature all around us, all the living beings, and everything that is derived from that, all the novel things that we do, you know, not only on the plants, animals levels, but also on the cell levels and beyond that. When you think about Lithuania as a country, it's a small country. When you think from history, you think that we're strong, big. Not necessarily, we don't want to be too strong. We don't want to be too centered. You know, we want to be part of Europe. We want to be part of equal, equal to many others. I love Vilnius because it's a city with amazing architecture, a lot of cultural life and all this balance which allows you to be in the middle of the city but at the same time just in the nature and that's really amazing. One second you're in the capital and then just five minutes away you can be by the river, or you can enjoy the parks or the nature and it creates this vibrant atmosphere in the city. The life sciences sector overall contributes heavily to the growth of our economy, generating 2.7% of GDP. And the ambitious goal uh, to generate 5% uh, of GDP by 2030 is at place. Enterprises contribute to our economy, but it's not only taxes, it's also collaboration and uh, even being present in our market. The very presence of, of these companies of uh, it contributes to the ecosystem because people meet people, they, uh, they come up with new ideas, new projects and so on. So basically then it's more vibrant, uh, vibrant family of life science industry and, and biotech. If we think what would be the benefits to the society from life sciences, you would think of two directions, first of all. So it's either medicine or medically related research or food related research. We contribute to both. Our biggest discoveries and biggest contributions that are known worldwide, for example, the gene editing technology that was co-discovered together in three places worldwide. And one of those was here in Vilnius in Lithuania. So we think there are significant contributions from research. When you work in laboratory, it's uh, inventions you're doing. If you want inventions to become innovation, you have to commercialize it to apply to broader, broader society. And uh, life science industry is an innovative industry, perhaps one of the most important. The ecosystem of life sciences in Lithuania consists of numerous parts. First, maybe most important, is where the teaching occurs. So largely that happens at the life sciences center. But keep in mind that there are other universities and we have more of these companies. We have some other ones that are making recombinant proteins, that are doing all kinds of medical, biomedical research, and these companies are growing. Thermo Fisher is a leading company serving science. We are predominantly enzyme and nucleic acid manufacturer for genetic research. So I mean gene analysis, gene detection, gene manipulation, uh, uh, things uh, including diagnostics, right? So our uh, products gradually really move to very specific applications in medicine, in agriculture, anything which relates to the life organisms. Everyone needs actually tools to do genetic analysis. So that's why our applicability of our product is very broad and getting broader. At Casim, we develop novel CRISPR-based gene editing solutions. We discover novel enzymes that can be used for end products in different industries, so as a basis for therapies, for diagnostic tools, 
for uh, new plant or animal species in agriculture, also uh, as research tools and even uh, as a basis for products in industrial biotech. When it comes to the government, from the life sciences point of view, the government is especially important. This is a strategic initiative which uh, gathers all stakeholders from academia, business and government. And basically all um, uh, ecosystem stakeholders are participating in this uh, process where uh, we are discussing uh, what are the key criteria, what are the key areas that uh, we as a country have to foster uh, in order to become uh, a number one in CE region as a life sciences it's not only victories or achievements of one country, but it is an achievement of uh, global partnerships. We have to work towards uh, basically any, any field our science and business is interested in. We, of course, specialize in some of the areas, but at the same time, let's not forget anybody else because it's global products we, and global solutions we are building here uh, in our country and basically in any country because life science industry, it doesn't have borders. And this is the most exciting thing about it. You know, when thinking about the future of life sciences, there is so much to discover, so much to learn. The bright future, it will help for our health, it will help for agriculture, it will make life better for humanity.